How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the channel and a video on the UT705 process calibrator from UniT. And you can see it here in front of you. This is the cardboard box that it arrives in. And then inside the cardboard box, we have a little canvas bag to keep the meter in. Uh, there's no logo on the front sides on the bag. Small little carry handle at the top here, but it's just for like one two fingers, uh, it's not a full handle, and then a single zipper to get into the bag. Uh, pretty much typical of these cheaper instruments, uh, there's no real padding to speak of in the bag, is a little bit in the front here, um, but nothing major around the sides or anything, um, so very basic. Little pouch on the front flap here that contains the manual, and a little guarantee card I presume, um, as you can see, everything is in, uh, or the vast majority, is in Chinese on this, as is uh, the whole of this manual, um, because of the way that I purchased it. Uh, however, you can download an English manual from the Unity website, um, so that's not too important. Um, inside, on the bottom compartment, you can see the meter held in, and a couple of elastic straps. They are positioned reasonably nicely, so you can actually use the instrument whilst it's still contained within the pouch if you want to or it will very easily come out and we also have a second little compartment in the case for two leads and two crop clips that you get with the instrument and that is the lot uh, so the leads themselves uh, PVC typical of what you expect from UniT really uh, they are actually uh, 2000 volt rated, um, but I'm pretty sure they are still uh, PVC ones. Uh, the crop clips, uh, quite small ones, so reasonably okay for a process calibrator. You don't need the big, large crocodile clips that we use on electrical circuits when you're using this kind of thing, really. Uh, and they just fit over the actual probe tips themselves. The little GS38 covers come off, and then you can just slide the crocodile clip over. And onto it, uh, good tight fit. So uh, they are stable on there, there shouldn't be any problems with any connections, uh, but obviously fairly basic with what you get um, inside the instrument. They do uh, connect fully inside the actual sockets on the instrument itself, so uh, all good in that respect. I'll put him out the way and put a cap on before we lose it. Uh, and obviously, it's just, it's just red and black, red and black crop clips, red and black leads. Uh, and that's all that you get. And that leaves us with the meter. So, we'll take a look at the instrument itself. Um, we have on off button on this side here. Now, this unit will source and measure current from 0 to 24 milliamps in one micro amp resolution. And it will measure. 0 to 31 volts in millivolt resolution, but it will not source voltage. So unlike all the other process calibrators that I've purchased up till now, all of them have the capability to source and measure both current and voltage. So this is uh, lacking a little bit in that department. In terms of accuracy for both the voltage and current functions, it is 0.02% plus two digits. Uh, that's actually more accurate than any of the other instruments that I've looked at so far. Price-wise, this unit is much cheaper to purchase from China. So when I purchased this, it was around about 260 pounds delivered um, from Amazon within the UK. This would cost you 379 pounds at the moment. So it's quite a significant saving to go and purchase it direct from China if you do want something like this. In terms of the operation of the unit, you can swap between measurement and source mode on the button here at the top. You can change between voltage uh, using the second button and then current using the third button along there, change it back to source and then you can only source current on this so the voltage button just changes that to the loop function and the simulation button changes it to the simulation mode 
which will supply 24 volts for a loop powered transmitter. Um, final button on here has a ramping function. You can do a slow ramp and you can do a faster ramp and then you can do a step ramp as well. You also have the function buttons here where you can actually change the digit if you want to with short presses or if you hold them in for a long time you can actually set it in 0, 100% uh, or you can go in 25% steps. So operation is fairly typical to the other units that you've got in that manner. Uh, final button here uh, is uh, the backlight which is very nice, uh, quite bright and clear. Uh, unlike some of the other, the, certainly the HT80501 uh, doesn't have a backlight on it which is missing from it. And then these two buttons here, the second function off of them is to actually be able to program the ratio with regard to the output. So you can set it as 0 to 100% over 0 to 10 milliamps or 4 to 20 milliamps depending on how you want to configure the unit. After that you've got the four jacks down at the bottom here for the loop output, simulation and current, and then voltage measurement between those two. Uh, typical Unity build really. Uh, the unit has uh, got this fairly soft rubberized moulding around it, uh, but uh, it doesn't come off. Uh, battery compartment at the back takes a PP3 battery, and then you have the tilt bale here as well, which is two position. Uh, by the looks of it, that's its first position there, and then you can extend it around a little bit more and you get a much lower position for the unit, should you prefer that. Uh, <coughs> and that's pretty much it, and notice there is no serial number on this unit for calibration purposes, so you'd have to invent your own, uh, but not the end of the world. So we are set up to measure milliamps, um, the milliamp being sourced is from the 2450 here down at the bottom and it's being measured by both the DMM7510 and the UNI-T UT705 there on the right which is the one we're interested in. Uh, the meter's just wired in series and I'm using the COM and the milliamp port on the UT705. So put them there and hopefully you can see everything. So I will record these as we go along. Uh, so we're just going to go up in four milliamp steps for this. There's 12 milliamps and we are 11.999722 and we are exactly 12 on 705 there. Uh, 16 milliamps is our next step and we are 15.999, uh, 20 milliamps, is 20.1, say it's 20.001. Our final one is 24 milliamps for measurement. Then we are 20. 4.00, yeah, we'll call him one again. And we are 23.99988 on the DM7510, and that puts all of these within spec. There isn't a single one that's out. Uh, I'll put the table up at the end as one big complete lot so you can look at it. Okay, so now we need to reconfigure to measure the voltage. Okay, so now we're set up for voltage measurements. We don't really have a millivolt range on this instrument. Um, best resolution is one millivolt on it. Um, so we are pumping in five millivolts. Uh, these are the same test values that I used on the HT8051 that does have a millivolt scale. Um, but we'll see how well we do just for the fun of it. Let's just slow you down a bit. So we've got some sort of fighting chance. Okay, 10 millivolts. Uh, 25 millivolts. Fifty millivolts. Sixty 
75 millivolts. So everything is smack on at the moment. Uh, now up to the hundreds. Uh, 250 millivolts. Five hundred millivolts, and finally seven hundred and fifty millivolts there, and we are smack on seven hundred and fifty on the UT seven zero five and seven hundred fifty point zero zero six ah zero zero seven three. Okay, so we'll upscale to voltage now, which is more in line with what the instrument is set for, really. I think. And we are smack on 1000 for 1.9999951. There, 2.5 volts. Yeah, okay, so 2.499, it's fluctuating a fraction, isn't it? Uh, 5 volts. And we should be between 4.997 and 5.003 anyway. And we see 4.99 going to 5. So that's all good. Uh, some half volts we can see all oh, within spec again. Uh, 10 volts is our next step. And we are 9.999. 15 volts. Okay, so there's 15 volts. Uh, we're smack on 50% on the scale there. 14.999 volts. Uh, 20 volts. 25 volts and our final one is 30 volts so there's our final measurement there uh, 30 volts we are reading 30.002 correlates pretty well 29.999 26 on the 7510 there, tolerance wise, we should be between 29.992 and 30.008 on the UNI-T, so well within specification, and our scaling there is 100% excellente. So, we'll have a quick shuffle around again, and we will do some milliamp source checks. There's 4 milliamps, our zero point there. Um, so at 4 milliamps, we are through 3.99 uh, her. Yeah, it's predominantly in the 9s, isn't it? So 3.99048. So our specification again is plus or minus. 0.02% plus two digits, so it should be between 3.997 milliamps and 4.003 milliamps, and we can see we are 3.999 milliamps there, so that's all good. We've gone up to 8 milliamps there, which is also good. 12 milliamps, we can go up again, so there's our 12 milliamps. So our next step is 16 milliamps. We are at 15.997. Uh, we should be between 15.995 and 16.005. So again, we are totally within tolerance. No problems there. Uh, 20 milliamps. And then final 24 milliamps. Now when I go over the 20 milliamp scale, I can't use the 25% button. Uh, you can see it doesn't work there, so in order to do that I just have to keep pressing to take up in more milliamp steps. And we are at 24 milliamps now, and we should be between 23.993 and 24.007, and we are 
0 0.65 so again they are all within tolerance so there you have it I'll put the results table up so you can see the full list of tests that were done uh, everything is within specification and if you look closely at the results it's within specification by a good margin as well uh, there's nothing sitting there on the actual limits of the tolerances so very very good results for the UNI-T UT705 process calibrator um, also seem to be very stable within the measurements as well uh, a little bit of fluctuation on the very last digit uh, which is acceptable because there's only uh, plus or minus one digit that it was fluctuating by um, so a little bit more stability than some of the other units I've tested which is nice to see having said that it does lack that voltage sourcing function that is present on all the other units um, so you do have to consider that if you are looking at something like this the UT705 does appear to be a member of a family of process calibrators available from UNI-T uh, and I think the sister unit to this is the UT701 which will give the voltage sourcing function and also temperature function as well so the combined UT705 and UT701 would give you functionality very similar to the SG-004A or the Mr Signal unit um, however that does come at a price uh, which is uh, £295 for the UT701 plus the 380 for the UT705. So you're getting up towards the 690 pounds, aren't you? Which is actually of the HT8051 that I previously purchased. So yeah, quite an expensive option to have both the two units together. But given the performance of this, uh, it might be interesting if uh, UT701 comes my way or even uh, one of the other high spec units from Unity comes my way. It might be worth taking a look at. But that'll be a, another video for a future time, I would say. Um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you found it useful. And I'll see you again in the next one.